This workshop covers the remaining British breeding terms, roseate, sandwich and little. Roseate tern is a rare breeding species in the UK. It occurs at a few well-known locations, although individuals can turn up at colonies of other species from time to time. Initially, it seems similar in appearance to both common and arctic tern. The beak colour is characteristic if you can get close views. Roseate tern has a long black beak and in the breeding season has a scarlet red base. On the ground, the extremely long tail streamers extend a long way beyond the wingtips, and the wingtips themselves are clearly marked with a black lower edge and pure white upper edge. Both common and arctic tern have diffuse smoky grey wingtips at rest. The most striking feature about roseate tern, however, at both rest or in flight, is its extremely pale, almost white overall impression. Roseate tern can easily be picked out of mixed tern flocks by this feature alone, even at a great distance. Despite the length of the tail streamers, these are only really noticeable when seen close to. And roseate tern actually has proportionately shorter wings, which can give the bird a more front heavy impression. Along with its very pale appearance, this can lead to confusion arising with the other extremely pale tern, the sandwich tern. Sandwich tern colony is widely distributed, but the bird is an early returning migrant and can be seen anywhere along our coasts. Sandwich terns are big, slightly larger than a black-headed gull, but still appearing lighter and more graceful in flight, although less so than the smaller terns. On the ground, sandwich tern is a highly distinctive bird with a long, heavy black bill and a clear yellow tip. The most obvious feature being the bird's shaggy crest especially when it turns its head against the wind. In flight, however, this shaggy crest appears neat and the upper parts are very pale. The short forked tail is distinctive and sandwich terns are very often seen with their heads pointed down as they search for fish. This is very noticeable and is a characteristic of the species. It is often the distinctive voice of sandwich tern that attracts attention, often giving us our first hint that a sandwich tern is about. These are noisy, garrulous birds and, in flight, persistently make a kerik call, which has been likened to the sound of amalgam being squeezed into a tooth cavity. The last of the British breeding terns is little tern. Again, this species is widespread, with generally well-known colonies on shingle and sand, and most of these are on reserves or with some protection. This is a tiny tern with a body size, including its tail, about the same size as a song thrush. At rest, the main features, where size is not obvious, are the wings, which extend beyond the tail. But two other features are much more obvious, the white forehead and bright yellow bill, both of which are visible in flight as well, and often at some distance. Compared to all the other species, little tern appears very narrow-winged, and the upper parts are relatively dark grey with clear black wingtips. One characteristic piece of behaviour which helps in identifying this species is the little tern's persistent hovering with repeated plunges into the water. Again, little tern has distinctive calls with a sharp creak being the most usual. When excited, a rapid chattering call is also heard. <coughs> 